In this video, we will learn how to instantly grant access to Kajabi course on successful payment in Stripe. So assume that you have created a course in Kajabi and you are selling the same course via Stripe payment gateway. Now, whenever customer makes a payment via Stripe, you want to instantly and automatically grant access of the same course to the same customer who has just made a payment for your Kajabi course. So either you can manually provide the access of your course to each customer who is making a payment in Stripe or you can create an automation in between Stripe and Kajabi in such a way that whenever customer is making a payment instantly and automatically you can provide the access to your course. So if you also want to automate this process come with me and I will show you the process step by step. So this is my Kajabi dashboard where I have created PHP course and I am selling this particular course via Stripe payment gateway here you can see and I want that whenever someone is making payment via Stripe the same person should get access automatically to this particular course and for that I'll have to connect these two application with the help of Pabli connect it is an amazing integration and automation software and you can also reach here by typing pabli.com slash connect i will also attach this link in my description box and if you are a new user of pabli connect you will have to sign up for free and in the free account you will also get free tasks to test these kinds of amazing automation i am already an existing user of pabli connect so that is why i have clicked on signing and then after clicking on access now you can also reach out to the dashboard of pabli connect and here the very first thing is you will have to click on this blue button create workflow and just provide a random name to your workflow to your automation i am providing instantly grant access of kajabi course when payment done in stripe okay now click on this button create and you will actually find two boxes in front of you those are actually trigger and action trigger means when this happens action means do this when this happens do this so understand with an example uh, whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application let's say uh, send an email via gmail application well according to our use case whenever the payment is happen in stripe payment gateway automatically grant the access of course via kajabi application so this is how we need to always select the applications in which we are building an automation and here we are building automation in between stripe and kajabi so that is why the trigger application here will be the stripe and the trigger event will i want whenever the checkout of the customer is completed in stripe in that case this automation should trigger well let me check whether i am selecting the right uh, trigger event or not yes it is the same triggers when checkout session is completed now after selecting these two things here you can see it has provided a webhook url and few set of instructions you will have to read these instructions one by one so firstly you will have to copy this webhook url go back to your stripe payment gateway and here you will have to click on this developer section and the idea here is we are actually connecting connecting stripe and payment gateway with the help of this webhook url which i have just copied here you will find an option of webhooks in the left hand side and here exactly you will have to click on this button and point and here we are going to provide the same endpoint url basically the webhook url now you will have to choose your trigger event basically the event well event will be the same as checkout session completed here you can even read in the instructions that choose checkout dot session dot completed from the select events and i have selected the same click on add events and after selecting the event here you will have to click on this final button that is add endpoint and here you will see pabli connect will start waiting for the response okay so it is clearly saying now log into the application where you have added the webhook url and do, do a test submission or record so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response so here it is saying that do a test submission or record and here the test submission clearly means that uh, checking out okay checkout completed again you will have to go to your stripe payment gateway account and here i will go to the product section and and here you can see I have already created the product name as PHP course for beginners. I will open the view payment link directly. Here you can see view payment link directly. And I will make a dummy payment by submitting this checkout page. Okay. Here you can see this checkout page is processing. Okay. So I am selling this PHP course for 499 which I have created here into my PHP course basically into the Kajabi dashboard. Now I will make a dummy payment here 
here so assume that the customer name is dummy customer only and here i will use the sorry sorry it was asking for the email address so here i will add the dummy customer or you can say admin at the rate pablichuch.com just adding a random email address and using the test payment details basically the test card details of the stripe only just provide a random date and a random cvv all right and here the name on the card will be assume that dummy customer only now here i will click on this button subscribe and you will see the payment will be successful okay it is clearly showing that thanks for subscribing coming back to pabli connect and here you will see the same response basically as soon as i have made a payment there the same details has been captured here also here you can see the type was checkout session completed all right we even have other details uh, so payment status is actually paid here we have the payment link also and where are the details of the customer here's the name here is the email address all right we have actually captured all the details even we have captured the amount but it has provided the decimal it has actually ignored the decimal value also now this is how basically the presence of this data clearly shows that the first step of our automation is absolutely working fine basically capturing of the payment detail as soon as payment is made in stripe payment gateway now we are going to send the same details to kajabi software basically we would like to provide provide the access to the same customer who has just made the payment so according to the process i should actually select here kajabi but instead of kajabi here i will select this filter option now why this filter option because here i am setting up this webhook url on the global level basically i have defined this automation that whenever any payment is made here in my stripe account the details should be captured here but i don't want that if the payment is of even the different products in that case also the same person should grant the access to my course so i'll have to define somewhere that if the payment is for this particular course only then only it should provide the access otherwise it should stop this automation immediately so how i am going to do that firstly i will open this product and here you can see we have the payment link as this okay we have a payment link as this here we have a specific id and if you will check the response of this particular payment you will even find the same value here also where is the payment link all right here you can see the payment link and it is the same li payment link of the same checkout page here let me show you all right okay here you can see it has it is the same i am 6 b r r okay i am 6 b r r so here in the filter i will actually define this condition if the payment link if the p link is actually all right i'll have to write it again okay if the p link is equal to this particular link then only this automation should proceed otherwise this automation should stop working immediately okay here you can even see that the status is success message is condition is true why the condition is true because this time we actually have the payment link as this only so on the payment of this particular product only this automation will proceed okay on the payment of this particular product only let me show you the view payment link all right because we have clearly define the condition now what should be the next step of course it should immediately provide the access to the same customer so that is why in the action event i will select kajabi as the action application and here in the action event i want to grant the access to an offer and here offer is actually equal to the product only i'll show you click on connect all right it is asking to provide the webhook url to grant the offer okay so again read the instructions you will have to go to your kajabi account here i have the product name as php course complete web web developer course here you will find an option of uh, again offers okay as i have just told you offer and after that again you will have to open the 
this particular course and here exactly at the top right corner you will find an option of webhook in this three dots click on that and here exactly we have the activation code this is the button okay copy this code and here it is clearly saying that copy the activation url which i have already done and i'm going to paste the same here now after that you just need to provide these details and we are all set to go so it is asking for the member name so i have the member name as the dummy customer here you can see and i don't need to manually copy and paste the details here you just need to scroll down and if you will click on this button basically we are mapping the details and mapping is very simple when you will click on this button you will find the above data here in the drop down you just need to search for that particular value and this is how you can map your data email address again i am going to search for my email address and here i have the customer details in case you want to provide in any external user id what is that id an id to uniquely identify the user this is you to uh, grant or revoke the access later so let's say if you want to provide any particular or unique id you can map any unique id from this particular data so here you can see we have the data object created basically it is the date and time in completely different format so if you want you can also provide this particular unique id well in that case i am actually leaving this field blank and whatever the details i have mapped here the importance of mapping is whatever the details you will map here these details will be automatically replaced when this automation will work in the real time so as per the automation what will happen whenever the payment is made for this particular course the detail will be captured by the public connect and these new details will replace these existing values and this is how this automation will work in the real time and this is the power of mapping power of automation now finally i will click on this button whether you would like to send offer grant email yes i would like to send the emails now firstly i will take you to the member section of this particular uh, product okay so i have how many contacts i have here in my kajabi okay so let us check here is the contact section and here you can see i don't have any contacts now finally i will click on this button and you will see the magic okay so wait for the response okay here you can see the responses received going back to the kajabi software going to refresh this particular page and here you will see the same person will be automatically added here okay here you can see the dummy customer and the email address is also same how about i click on this view button and you will see the same customer have the access of the same course all right i have clicked on the button and here we have the purchases section all right okay even here also you can see this person was granted the php 8 week online course for free okay it has already grant access for this particular course here you can see it is showing that it has the one purchase if you will see offer name is the same if you will check in the product section also that this particular product has been purchased by this customer so this is how now onwards whenever someone is going to make a payment for this particular course basically for the php course for beginners the same customer will grant access to the same course automatically without doing anything manually you just need to set this automation inside pabli connect just once so how about we check this automation whether it is working in real time or not so again i will make a dummy payment for this particular course with completely new customer details so assume that this time this particular person is making the payment all right the email address is this again adding the card details just the test card details random details okay okay i'll have to write it correct okay name on the card is assume that test customer okay i will finally make the payment okay so the payment has been made successful now go back to the kajabi account and here you will have to refresh this particular page and here i'll have to go to the all contact section and check whether the new customer has been added here or not and here you can see the same customer has been added here if i will click on this view button you will see this particular customer has been granted to the same course automatically without doing anything so this is how you can create this automation very easily with the help of pabli connect in case you want to clone this whole setup into your account i will attach this shareable workflow 
link into my YouTube video description box from where you can click on this link and sign up for free in the public connect and this is how the same workflow will be cloned into your account for free. Not just these applications, you can connect and integrate multiple applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect. If you have any query regarding this automation or if you're not sure how and from where to start, you can actually share your queries on forum.pabli.com. My team will surely help you. And this is the website of Pabli Connect. And for the unique automation ideas and the latest Pabli Connect updates, you can actually join our Facebook group. And if you have found this video, helpful in any way share it with your friends or colleagues and also help them to automate their business so do not buy Pabli connect but at least try this automation for free thank you for watching